knew that there was a dress code at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. Well, a Jersey girl named Bina Ramesh went to the park to celebrate her 22nd birthday with her boyfriend, but she was turned away at the gate trying to get in for violating the dress code with this gray V-neck. Uh, it was deemed inappropriate. The couple actually in the parking lot swapped their shirts, and they were actually allowed to go inside the park by the exact same guards. I've looked at the dress code, and nowhere in that code does it state anything about V-neck shirts or the amount of skin that can be shown. Now, Bina took to Facebook to discuss her feelings about it. This is what she wrote. As I was entering Six Flags, I was stopped by security because my top was considered inappropriate uh, by park standards. Apparently, when a boy wears the same shirt, it's fine. So thank you for swapping shirts with me in the parking lot because we still live in a world of double standards and sexism. Now, she tagged her boyfriend, Adonis, and also Six Flags in her post. Now, the story has since gone viral. She's received a ton of support around the globe. She was given a personal apology from Six Flags Great Adventure. This is what it said. Uh, we're extremely sorry for the experience you had while at our park. Our goal is for all of our guests to have a fun visit. And we understand this was not a ca the case for you. Our team members are trained and then asked to use their judgment in carrying out our policies. These particular officers did not use good judgment and there's no reason you should have been denied entry. Chasing News also reached out for our own statement. Uh, this is what they have to say to us. We apologize for any inconvenience we may have caused. Ms. Ramesh, we strive to maintain a family-friendly environment. And similar to many other public venues, we do have a dress code. Our team members are trained and then asked to use their good judgment. She should not have been turned away. She is a season pass holder, and we have invited her and her friends as our guests. So guys, what do you think? Would you shield your children's eyes uh, for this gray v-neck or what? So, I mean, without the bigger issue of dress codes and sexism, I mean, that, when I hear things like that, it tells me maybe, you know, it's, it's, did she do something on purpose? Is she taking advantage of this? But the reality is, you know, what does the dress code even say? I mean, she was dressed. The dress code doesn't say uh, anything about skin or anything like that. Uh, you can't have kind of gang-related activity on your shirts, any kind of uh, political statements, anything to uh, anything racist, anything discriminatory, guns of that nature. This security guard was clearly on a power trip. I mean, what's the big deal? People are walking around in swimsuits inside the establishment. She just has a regular t-shirt v-neck. I mean, it's an embarrassment for six months. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I read that she was quoted in a magazine stating that uh, a guy was walking in right next to her that was wearing a see-through tank top with uh, his nipples showing and he went right in uh, and the security guard, security sergeant said, it's it's a difference. He's a man and you're a woman. So Because he was staring at her cleavage. And I think she's making a way bigger deal about this. Uh, Everybody's got a cause these days. Thanks, Rohan.